Hey, welcome, Julie Jackie Coach, an EFT practitioner here, coming live. We are tapping on pain tonight. That can be chronic pain, something you've been experiencing a long time, or it could be as simple as you just slammed your finger in the door. Whatever the pain is, we are gonna tap using a technique called chase the pain. And so when we start tapping, We'll be literally just chasing the pain around your body and um, noticing how it feels, noticing the intensity of it, and we're going to be tapping on that technique. Um, I am going to quick share this with other people so we can have a few more people join us to chase the pain. And if you feel so inclined to share with others, that would be awesome too. Um, just got to refresh over here. So when we tap tonight, like I said, we are going to do what's called chase the pain. And as we address the pain in your body, wherever it is, um, it can move about because it's energy. And as it moves about, we'll follow it along and tap on whatever is coming up for you as we follow along. Um, it could shift from your head to your toe, like all of a sudden your toe could start throbbing when you thought you had a pain in your head. And so we'll just chase the pain and describe what it feels like in your toe and what the intensity is and we'll tap right on that. And then it could shift from your toe to your elbow. I mean, who knows? It's energy and it's moving about your body and we want it to clear out. So we'll chase it around and get it to move on out. So if you wouldn't mind um, saying hello in the comments or sending our like or heart to let me know you're here, that'd be awesome. And if you um, feel so inclined to share this with others, I think that you can do that. I don't see the space on my screen, but you can share it down um, below in the comments. That would be awesome. And um, we're going to go ahead and get started. And it's good for you if you have water, to have water with you, um, have a quiet space, and give yourself permission to take care of yourself right now. This is self-care. This is paying attention to your body and, and helping take care of it. So just give yourself permission to be with me for 15, 20, 30 minutes, um, whatever you can do in your schedule, and just be fully present, and we are going to work on this together. So... Um, Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in to get started and get us nice and connected together. So go ahead and take a deep breath in all the way down into your belly. You want to feel it all the way down as far as you can go and let that out. And take another deep breath in and let that out. Good. And now I just want you to do a little scan in your body. I want you to just close your eyes wherever you are and scan your body and just notice, if you don't already know, where you're feeling some pain or um, tension or tightness. There's something going on in your body. So if it isn't obvious that it's something throbbing or your knee has been giving you trouble or something, just scan your body and, and see where that pain is. And you could have come here thinking, oh, my knee has been really bothering me. I want to tap on the pain. But all of a sudden, as you're closing your eyes and scanning your body, something else could pop in that's way more intense. So just notice that. And let's focus on that for a moment. So... I'm just going to be silent for 10, 15 seconds so you can just tune in your body and scan it. See where that pain is. And now I want you to notice the intensity of the pain and rate it on a scale of zero to 10. Zero, you don't feel the pain at all. 10, it's super intense, like you wanna cry or scream. So you're somewhere on that scale, and give yourself a number. And you might have a number pop in your head and you think you made it up, and that's okay. Go ahead and trust that number. That number is actually your body speaking to you and giving you information, and you're just here present in this moment listening to it, so you're able to hear it. 
So just go ahead and trust that number. And then I want you to pay attention to how it feels. Where is that pain? What's the intensity and how does it feel? So what do I mean by that? What I mean is, is it pulling? Is it pushing? Does it feel like somebody is jabbing at you? What does it feel like? Just pay attention to that feeling in your body. And just imagine that you're describing it to your doctor or to your best friend and telling them exactly where the pain is and what it feels like. And then I want you, if you could please, just take a moment and um, if you're comfortable doing it, just jot in the comments where in your body it's hurting, what the intensity is, and describe it. And I'll tap um, using exactly what you shared, and we will clear out whatever you have going on in your body. We will start to do that. And if you're not comfortable sharing, that's okay too. Um, and what we'll do then is I will use a different part of the body that may or may not match where you're feeling pain. And um, you'll just follow along with me, but you'll think of where you're having the pain. So if you're comfortable writing down in the comments um, where you're having the pain, what level of intensity, and what it feels like, that would be awesome. Tight pain in the neck. Intensity in eight. That is pretty intense. Beth, let's get started and get tapping and get that intensity down. So you know how to do this right on the top of your head. Um, you're tapping with your left hand or your right hand. It doesn't matter. And you're using your fingertips, so you're tapping towards the back of your head. And just repeat after me. Tight pain. And then move right to the inside of the eye. It's right by the eyebrow there, and you're tapping there with your fingertips, left hand or right hand, it doesn't matter. And repeat after me. Tight pain in the neck. And then move to the outside of the eye. You can feel right on the corner of your eye there. You're tapping lightly. Enough so you can feel it, but you don't want to give yourself a black eye. That is not what tapping is all about. And looks like Dexter would like to join us. Hi, Dexter. So, keep tapping. Dexter is a healer kitty and is going to join us for a little bit. And repeat after me. Tight pain in the neck. And under eye, right on that bone there. And repeat after me. Intensity is an eight. Under the nose, it's an eight. Crease in chin, pain in the neck. Collarbone, pain in the neck. Underarm, it's a tight pain. Top of head, tight pain in the neck. Inside eye, I feel this tight pain in my neck. Outside eye, all this pain. Under eye, all this pain in my neck. And so for those of you that are just joining in, I just want you to tune into where you're feeling some pain in your body and follow along with us. Just follow me where I'm tapping on the tapping points and repeat after me, even if your pain is not in your neck. And go right, the crease in the chin, tight pain in my neck. Collarbone, it's an eight. Underarm, this intensity is an eight. And I'm going to have you go ahead and stop tapping for a moment and take a deep breath in here. All the way down to your belly and let that out. And I want you to check back in to wherever you're experiencing that pain. So Beth is experiencing it in her neck. So Beth will check right back in with her neck and notice if the pain has shifted at all. Is it still an intensity of eight? So wherever that pain is in your body, I want you to measure that on a scale of zero to 10. Zero, you don't feel it at all. 10, it's super intense. So notice um, Beth, for example, has the intensity gone down or has it gone up? 
and notice whatever the new number is that pops in for you. So you have the location, you have the intensity, and now we want to describe the pain. So before in that, um, Beth said that she had tightness in her neck. So is it still tight or did it shift to something else? Does it feel like somebody's poking? Does it feel, what does it feel like? So Beth wrote down to a six. So from an eight to a six, that's awesome. Lots of yawning. And so yawning is a way that we clear energy. And as we are tapping, we help shift energy around in our body. And you could do that through yawning, you could be coughing, you could be sneezing, you could be crying, you could be laughing, um, you could be sighing. Those are all different ways that our body lets go of this emotion or energy that isn't serving you anymore. So Beth, would you mind sharing what does it feel like in your neck now? I know it's down from an eight to a six, you're doing lots of yawning. What does it feel like? Is it still tight or did it shift to something else? Still tight with a ping down to my ribs. And is that on the left side, right side, or in the center or all over? So we are really pinpointing where the pain is and exactly what it feels like. So we're focusing in on that and we want to lean into it and really feel it because our tendency is to avoid it and go, oh, I don't feel it. And you like you pretend not to feel it because you don't want to feel it and it hurts. Um, but we want to lean in and feel it while we're tapping. So right back to the top of the head. I have this pain in my neck. All right, Beth, I see right side down behind your liver. Great awareness that you have being able to describe where you're feeling. So move to the inside of the eye. I still have a tight pain in my neck. Outside eye with a ping down to my ribs. Under eye with a ping down to my ribs. So we are literally tapping on what Beth shared because that's what's going on in Beth's body and we are giving attention to that. We're acknowledging it like, hey, I'm feeling this in my neck right now and it's tight and it's going down to my ribs. And so we're acknowledging that, we're letting it know, yeah, we're paying attention to you and we're leaning in and feeling that intensity of whatever she has going on in her neck. Move to the crease in the chin and collarbone and repeat after me. It's on my right side, underarm, and it goes down behind my liver and tap ahead. And even though um, there's other people that are tapping along and we're currently tapping on what Beth has going on, um, you're just repeating along with us too because actually as you set the intention of clearing out whatever you have going on in your body and you're paying attention to the intensity of it and how it felt, that's this intention setting piece that I'm talking about. Um, but as we help Beth here clear out and shift her energy with the pain in the neck that she has going on, on the right side, which is masculine, by the way, in case you have a man in your life that's a pain in your neck. Um, as we're helping Beth, you're also helping yourself. So even though we're focusing on the neck, and that might not be where you have it going on, you're helping yourself by helping Beth and you will experience a shift as well. So just keep following along and tapping on um, what I'm saying and you'll notice a shift. So right side down behind my liver, collarbone, all this tightness in my neck, underarm, all this tightness in my neck, top ahead, pain in my neck. Inside eye, it's on the right side. Outside eye, I have this pain in my neck. Under eye, pain in my neck. Under nose, it pings down to my ribs. Crease and chin, it pings down to my ribs. 
collarbone. It's on the right side. And just lean in and feel whatever is going on in your body. Because remember, whatever we're resisting persists. And we want to lean in and we want to feel whatever's going on in your body, acknowledge it as we're tapping along, and help let that go. And your body will shift to that better feeling space. So we're going to stop tapping here for a moment and check right back in. So stop tapping and take a deep breath in all the way down to your belly and let that out. And I want you to tune back into that space that you're feeling pain. So whether it's your neck or somewhere else, or notice if it moves somewhere else. So maybe you're focusing on your knee and now it's moved out of your knee and it's down in your toe. Um, notice that because that's important and now we would focus on your toe. So focus wherever you're feeling the most intense pain and I want you to measure that on a scale of zero to 10. Zero, you don't feel it all. 10, it's super intense. You want to scream or you will cry because it's so freaking intense out of 10. So measure that. A number will pop up in your mind. Go ahead and trust that because that is your body communicating with you. And after you get that number, I want you to pay attention to the pain and describe how it feels. So how is it feeling now? Before, for Beth, it was still tight. It was pinging down her ribs. It was on the right side and it was behind her liver. So she's paying attention and seeing if it's still there or if it's shifted to somewhere else and what it feels like. So if you go ahead and take a moment and jot that in the comments and we'll tap on your stuff. And um, for those of you that have joined us, um, you can just join in the comments right where you're at and share with me what's going on and we'll include that in this next round of tapping. So tap where you're feeling the pain, what the intensity level is, and share what it feels like. So I'll wait for just a moment while you figure that out and write in the comments because this is really important for you to pay attention and figure that out. So Beth, neck is down to a four. Okay, so we started at an eight. It's down to a four. Tightness is loosening. Awesome. And pain behind the right ribs, liver is up to a six. So um, there's a shift there, a good notice there. And Joe, I see no pain, just shifting energy. Awesome, Joe. I'm glad that you're here joining with us and shifting energy. That's awesome. I was actually doing that this morning when I got out of bed. I wasn't tapping on anything specific. I just was shifting energy because I didn't feel on top of the world when I got out of the bed uh, out of bed this morning. So I was sitting in silence. My mind was clear, and I was just tapping. And so it's good to do. So let's um, resume here and go right back to the top of the head and start. Go ahead and repeat after me. I still feel this pain in my neck. Inside eye, it's down to a four. Outside eye, and the tightness is loosening. Under eye, but it is still tight. Under nose. And the pain is behind the right ribs. And I feel that it's increased in my liver. My liver is up to a six. Collarbone. My neck pain is down to a four. Underarm, it was an eight. Now it's a four, and the tightness is loosening, but it is still tight. So just really lean into that tightness that you're experiencing and acknowledge it. Just really feel that tightness 
and even give your body um, permission to let it go. It's safe, body, here we are, we're safe. You just notice wherever you are and you're feeling safe and it's okay to let this go. And outside eye, I have the pain behind my right rib. Under eye and liver is up to a six. Liver is up to a six. I have tightness in my neck. And liver is up to a six. Underarm. All this pain in my neck. Top of head. Pain in my neck, pain in my neck, pain in my neck. Inside eye, all this tightness. This pain behind my right rib. I feel pain behind my right rib. Under nose. My liver is up to a six. Liver is up to a six. We're going to stop here for a moment and take another deep breath in. All the way down to your belly and let that out. And I want you to tune back into wherever you're experiencing the pain in your body. And I want you to re-measure the intensity on a scale of zero to 10. Zero, you don't feel it at all. 10, it's super duper intense. And notice where you are now. And then I want you to feel what it feels like in your body. What does that pain feel like? Is it pulling? Is it pushing? Does it feel like somebody's jabbing at you? What does that pain feel like? Describe it. And did it move from your ear down to your knee? Notice if it shifted somewhere else and it's not your ear bothering you anymore, now it's your knee. And go ahead and jot in the comments what you're noticing and what you're experiencing, where you're feeling the pain now, what the intensity is, and what it feels like. We're going to start tapping. And just tap along with me and notice the pain in your body. And when the comments are there, we'll tap on that directly. All this pain. Under eye, I'm feeling all this pain. Under nose, I'm feeling all this pain. Crease and chin pain in my neck. Collarbone pain in my neck. So I see Beth shared with us what's going on now, and I'm going to just quickly read that. So the neck is down to a one, and it cracked on its own. So it was an eight, it's down to a one, and just cracked on its own. That's awesome. So it's shifting and clearing, the energy is moving out. Awesome. Liver is a five. So the liver you didn't mention at first, then the liver came in. It was a six, now it's a five. And it's radiating to the same spot on the left as well. And that's a five as well. So you have um, pain on the left and the right side. And it's an intensity of five. Okay. So we're going to tap on that, and anybody else that is here, you can feel free to put in the comments what you have going on as well, and we will tap on that. So we're going to let go of the focus on the neck because the neck intensity has decreased significantly, and we're going to bring the focus on to the liver 
because that is where the, the more intense pain is right now. And so I feel this in my liver. My liver's at a five. And it's radiating to the same spot on the left as well. And that's a five as well. So I want you to lean in and feel that intensity of that pain that's radiating. And on the left side and the right side, I just want you to lean in and feel that pain and acknowledge it. Pain, I feel you in my liver. I feel you on the left. I feel you on the right. I feel it radiating. Just really acknowledge that and lean into it. And keep tapping. And as you're tapping here, take a deep breath in all the way down to the bottom of your stomach. And let that out. And keep tapping under eye. Under nose. Crease and chin. Just really lean in and feel that pain and focus on the intensity of it. Focus on what it feels like. Really feel it. I have this pain in my liver. Top ahead, I feel this pain. It's radiating to the same spot on the left. Outside eye, that's a five as well. My liver is a five. And it's radiating to the left. all this pain. So we're going to go ahead and stop here and take another deep breath in and let that out. And I want you to tune back in to where that pain spot is now. And I want you to re-measure that on a scale of 0 to 10. 0, you don't feel it at all. 10, it's super freaking intense. You want to scream and see where you are on that scale. And then after you have figured out where the pain is and what the intensity is, I want you to describe what it feels like. So is it pulling, pushing? Does it feel like somebody's punching? What does it feel like? And then go ahead and share that in the comments below and we will tap on that. And this will be the last round that we do tapping to help clear this out. And you may have some homework to finish up on your own to clear anything else out. I'm just going to start tapping again while I'm waiting for the share in the comments and so we can tap on what you have going on. And Joe, just notice the shifting of the energy that you have, can you feel it shifting around in your body? What does that feel like? All right, welcome Krista, thanks for joining us. We're just on our last round here and we've been tapping on the pain that Beth started out in her neck and it moved to her liver and now she just shared that the right side is pulling down to a two and the left side is pulling down to a one. Lots of yawns, burps, and eyes watering. So awesome, I celebrate yawns, burps, and eye watering because that's energy shifting. Awesome, Joe, I'm glad that you're more relaxed. Um, so I, I mentioned burps earlier and yawns and I don't know if I mentioned eyes watering, but that's all the energy shifting about in your body and it's your it shifts however it can it's trying to release and get out and so when you're tapping <laughs> hey sweet lady 
when you're tapping, um, you're going to notice the energy shifting through the yawns and the coughs and the burps and the sighs. And you could even sneeze. You could itch. You're, all of a sudden, your skin could start itching. And you want to keep tapping as that happens. Hey, Patty. Um, you just want to keep tapping as you're experiencing those different energies releasing out of your body. So we're going to continue tapping on what Beth has going on. And just go ahead and follow along right where we're at. If you're just joining us, tune into where you're feeling pain in your body and do a quick measurement of the intensity on a scale of 0 to 10. And notice what it feels like. And then follow along with me and repeat after me as we focus on what Beth has going on. The right side is pulling down. The right side is pulling. It's down to a two. Top ahead. The left side is pulling. It's down to a one. I feel it in my liver. It was a six, then a five. Now the right side's down to a two, and the left side is down to a one. Patty, I see, like I got a notification that you commented, but I can't see what your comment is. Not sure why. Um, I'm going to try to refresh over here to see if I can see it. And just keep tapping. And just keep leaning in and feeling what it feels like wherever that pain is. And notice if it's shifting. Just really lean in and feel that. Just really focus, laser focus right in where that pain is and feel it. We don't always have to use words when we're tapping. We can also tune into the emotion that we're feeling as well as the sensation that we're feeling. And when I say focus, and that's what I'm saying, lean in, just lean in and feel that sensation. Is as you do that, it helps acknowledge it and it gives it permission to release and let go. So we're going to stop tapping here and take another deep breath in all the way down to the bottom of your belly and let that out. And I want you to tune back into the place that you have pain in your body. And I want you to re-measure that on a scale of 0 to 10. So 0, you don't feel it all. 10, it's super freaking intense. You want to cry or scream. See where you are on that scale now. And then I want you to tune in and see how that feels. What does it feel like? Describe it. Pretend you have to tell your doctor exactly what's going on. Are you talking to your best friend and um, telling your best friend what's going on? So you want to describe it that way so they have a good idea, like a doctor could diagnose by you giving all that data and information. So go ahead and put that in the comments, because then I will um, 
we're, we're wrapping up here and but I'll give you homework so you can go back and replay this video and tap along and clear out whatever you're experiencing. So breath, liver is a zero, right rib zero, left rib zero, woohoo! Hiccups, laughter, burps, and yawns, all combining. That is awesome. Nice work, Beth. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If anybody else would like to chime in and share, feel free to do that in the comments. And also, if you wouldn't mind, please comment below what other topics that you would like to tap on. Because I am going to be doing some more Facebook Lives. Uh, I just really want to spread the word on tapping and help people clear stuff out. And whether it's limiting beliefs, there's an affirmation you'd like to tap on so you believe it more, or you have something about money, whatever it is that you would like to try tapping on, um, just put it in the comments and you can do that while this video is going or if you're watching the replay you can comment there too because I'll come back and take a look and see what you have written and I'm going to be setting up more tapping Tuesdays where we'll be tapping live together um, and if you haven't already be sure to like Julie Jackie coach um, and when you like it you also want to click on the following there's a little drop down and you want to click to receive notifications and then you'll be notified when I have live videos going and you also get a daily dose of inspiration because I like to inspire. And so if you haven't already done that, go ahead and be sure to do that as well. So anybody else um, want to share where you are at now? And it's okay if you don't, um, but I would be happy to give you homework if you would like to share. So. I do, <laughs> Christy, you're awesome. I do want to thank you for joining me tonight and for commenting and liking and hearting and um, sharing. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate your openness to tapping. So thank you for joining. And Joe, I'm going to read your thing. Um, thank you letting go of anger, financial blocks, and positive thoughts. So that's stuff that you would like to tap on, right, Joe? Um, we can for sure tap on those. Um, obviously, different topics. <laughs> um, yes, you are welcome. Tapping on going within. All right, Krista, I got it. And Beth, procrastinating on to self-improvement classes, one on finances, um, the other Layla Martin's a bliss class. I am not sure what that means, so if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit more about that, that'd be awesome. And Krista, healing trauma. Um, that one, I don't know that I would do trauma live because it um, really I'm not there to support you like I would be over the phone or in person, but I can definitely talk about different ways to help you um, heal trauma. But I wouldn't actually do a live on that um, because I wouldn't be able to support you enough and I don't feel comfortable with that because this, I using EFT tapping, you definitely need to be supported when you are going through something to clear out trauma. So that is really important for you to, to know, all of you. And the reason why I'm saying it's important for you to know is because sometimes we beat ourselves up thinking we should be able to do this ourselves. And um, when we're doing dealing with trauma, that's when you need support. That's when you need somebody to hold your hand and help you through it. And so um, I'm, I'm really excited, Krista, that you're wanting to heal trauma. That speaks to where you are right now. Like you're ready to get some healing on and that's awesome. Um, and we can 
we can connect offline if you'd like, if there's something more you'd like to chat about and maybe I can give you some guidance. Um, we can certainly do that. So, hey, you guys, thanks so much for joining. Um, feel free to add any other comments here about other things that you'd like to tap on and let me know if there's different times that you'd like to tap. Right now I'm doing Tapping Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central. Um, I can do it other times as well. And I'd just like to hear from you when you'd like to tap and what topics you'd like, like to tap on because I'm here to serve you and help you as you are on your healing journey. So thank you again for joining me and um, we will tap again soon.